What's going on everybody? Josh Engelman here for stochastic.com and we are going to do a little bit of digging into our SIM tools. But one thing in particular, I wanna to talk to you guys about our entry manager. It's the thing that makes using our SIMs perfect for loading your entries into DraftKings, FanDuel, Yahoo, Owner's Box, whatever you're playing, this is what you wanna be using because we make it very easy to load in your lineups, load in your CSV, and export with the exact lineups you want assigned to the contests that you're looking for. So get a piece of paper, get a pen, take some notes. This is how you want to use the entry manager in the Stochastic Sims. Right now, we are looking at all of the simulation results after running this for week one in the NFL. Now, it's going to look like this for any sport you're playing, but this is the NFL for right now. This is the most important thing we have to look at. This is what you'll see after you generate your lineups and after the simulator does its thing. You get all of the data on the screen, and now we want to try and assign these lineups to certain entries that we have. And the first thing we need to do is load in our CSV. Now, it's gonna be a little bit different depending on which site you're playing on in terms of getting that CSV. But you gotta download your contest entry file from either DraftKings, FanDuel, Yahoo, Owner's Box. You gotta download that file independently. We'll have links in the description that can take you directly to where you need to be to get that file. I have already downloaded a DraftKings entry file for week one. So the first thing that I'm going to do is load that. And you do that by clicking Entry Manager in the top right hand corner of the screen. And I will click that button and it will present to you the screen that you see in front of you. We can upload our CSV and then it's going to list our contest. But the first thing we need to do is upload our CSV. It's the top of the list. It's the blue button at the top. You will click Upload CSV. And then I'm going to load in the one that I downloaded. This is the week one NFL contest. And you can see that I've registered for two separate contests. Fully max entered, the $5 milli, and then 20 entries that go into the play action. And we can manage these differently if you want to, or we could use the same set. It's up to you. To start, we're gonna make it very simple. We're gonna add 150 lineups to this for the milli. Very easy. So I'm gonna close that out, and we're gonna go back to the screen that shows us all of the data. And this is gonna be very easy. Now I'm not going to go through the concept of finding the lineups you want, selecting the specific lineups you want. I wanna show you what the mechanism looks like to add it to the entry manager. And it's very easy. So the first thing that I'm going to do, since I know I want 150 lineups, I'm gonna go ahead and quick favorite the top 150 lineups, just so you guys can see how this works. So now we have all these hearts on the right hand side that make up every single one of the lineups. We have 150 saved. The entry manager could not make this any easier. So I will click on that link once again, and you'll see what we have on the screen. If I wanna take those 150 lineups that we just favorited and put them into the Millie contest, it doesn't get any easier than this. All I do is click the plus sign next to the Millie. And when I click it, we now have 150 lineups assigned to the Millie. As easy as it gets. Now I can stop there if I want, and I can click download entry file. That's gonna pop up a CSV that just has those 150 lineups loaded. It won't have anything for the play action. So you can save that, export it, upload it to DraftKings, and you'll have all of those lineups entered. And then you could do the exact same thing for the play action if you want to. Or you could do it both ways, right here. Maybe you're fine having some overlap for your 20 lineups for the play action, for your 150 and something else. This could be 10, 15 contests that you're in on the NFL day, but maybe we just want 20 but we wanna be a little different. So I'm gonna unfavorite everything. Now we have nothing favored. And instead of taking the top 20, I'm just gonna make it a little bit more unique. So we're gonna say that each lineup has to have four uniques in it, just for reference sake, not what you have to do. And then I'll take the top 20. And you'll see we get a little bit of separation here. This one doesn't have enough uniques. It's really the only one that ended up moving. But let's say I wanna play these 20 lineups in that play action. 
I'll click Entry Manager. I'll click the plus sign for the play action. And now I have 150 lineups for the main. I have 100 and, or 150 lineups for the milli. I've got 20 for the play action, two contests, 170 lineups, and the important piece here, and you see where it's flagged, it says enable duplicate lineups. If you're using one regular pool, the way that we just did, if we have this checked, then we could take the top 50, 150 and the top 20, and it's going to put the 20 best into both. If I uncheck this button, we can put the top 150 into the milli, and then it'll take your next best 20 and put them into the play action. So right now I'm, I've enabled duplicates, which is fine. Now I could download that entry file, as you can see. And if I save that, that will have every single lineup that we've built so far. But what I want to do right now is delete them all. So I'm going to delete the play action. I'm going to delete the milli lineups. And now we don't have anything in our CSV. And I want to show you what happens if we don't allow duplicates. So I'm going to take the top 150 once again. We're going to head over to the entry manager, but I'm going to uncheck enable duplicate lineups. And I want you guys to see what happens here. If I uncheck that button and I take the top 20 for the play action, and then I take the milli entries. Do you see what happened on the screen? The top 20 entries went into the play action, but since we only saved 150, those 20 lineups don't also go to the milli. We only get those 130. We would need 20 more. So you can make this allow duplicates and bounce those back and forth if you want to be quick about it, or if you want to turn it off like I did, then you could take your best 20 and get a fresh 150 for the milli. Either direction you want to go, all you have to do is check that box on or off. But it's as simple as just clicking a plus sign to add the lineups and then clicking download entry file to get that CSV, at which point you'll go to DraftKings, FanDuel, Owner's Box, and you'll upload that CSV and then your lineups will be submitted. But it doesn't get any easier by using the entry manager. It's the simplest thing you're going to find at stochastic.com. We take the powerful sims and we make it very easy for you to find the lineups that you're looking for and enter them into the particular contest that you're in. You can manage this fully. You can make sure you're picking every individual lineup you want for every single contest you want.